I don't really do driving vlogs too often because of course my wife thinks I can't drive and talk at the same time, which she's right, so um, wish me luck. <laughs> that's not in my car but uh, it is week four of the GZCL method and it's actually nine o'clock in the morning which is a little weird if you're a you know most valuable pervert you'll know that I train a lot in five o'clock in the morning but I graduated school I have a lot more time and with that time I'm actually doing a lot more reading and watching of a GZCL method uh, by Cody the Fever and he definitely has an awesome channel um, a lot of he's pretty funny too uh, so you know kind of having a lot of voiceover on his, um, his workouts. I actually like that. Today is bench press day. You saw me do uh, the bench press regular without the slingshot because today is a slingshot day and uh, everything's going well. I've been doing a lot of more reading so I'm trying to really up my poverty bench. I'm doing, trying to follow what Jen Thompson uh, does so a little bit faster with the descent and kind of going an up upward arc and um, so really trying to get that leg force and leg drive going upwards. Before what I did I did a lot of wasted energy where I would kind of shoot my hips up off of the bench and that of course would give me some red lights. I've definitely red lighted before at a powerlifting meet so I definitely need to uh, concentrate on having that leg uh, force because I don't really mess with it and, and I think that's what's my problem is that I need to really um, research my bench press because I, I love squats so I tend to just like read everything I can about squats 
and that's what I need to do with the bench press. So, uh, yeah, so stay tuned for this workout. I am just about to get warmed up right now. I'm, this is like pre pump, so I'm um, probably after the words when you see me throughout this video. I'll be a little bit pumped and a little bit more douchebaggy. So, uh, definitely give this video a like because I always forget to tell you guys to like the damn video because, um, I mean, it's a good video. If I say so myself. Anyways, with that being said, uh, stay tuned. All right, so this is what it looks like after the pump. Of course, I look bigger in my small Asian car. That's actually why us Asians will drive these small cars uh, fast and furious because uh, the smaller the inside, the bigger we look, right? Um, so I am actually driving home. Um, thought I can do some commentary afterwards, but uh, trying to make it home to the family as quick as I can because of course I got no work today or no school. So definitely uh, time with the family. We'll see what we do. Um, hopefully this video isn't too shaky because um, I don't really do driving vlogs too often because of course my wife thinks I can't drive and talk at the same time, which she's right, so um, wish me luck. <laughs> but um, other than that, uh, I'll, I'm gonna keep this video short because first of all, my AC is broken and I can't roll down the windows because you won't be able to hear my beautiful voice. <clears throat> But the pump was real today, um, and of course this vlog is shaky. I can already see the camera bobbling, so I apologize for that. So let me give you an update on my back real quick. My back is definitely getting better. Uh, I pretty much snapped my shit up from running, believe it or not. Uh, that is another reason not to do cardio, but uh, yeah, I guess uh, three miles um, definitely messed me up running, and I... Uh, I think I just wasn't ready for it. A lot, a lot of people don't know I used to be a long distance runner. I could run 10 miles easy, but that didn't get, then again, that was about 100 pounds ago. I was like 100 pounds in high school, and it was pretty easy just to run 10 miles because all you had to do was just go with the wind and you just get blown away with it. Um, but yeah, I thought I could be a runner and just try to be athletic. Apparently, I'm not that athletic. So uh, yeah. So pain is getting better because it is a one out of 10 pain right now, which used to be maybe a six or seven. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you guys already got the scoop um, that I pretty much don't have any ridiculous pain. It's not ridiculous. It is uh, pretty much awesome that I am feeling a whole lot better. So um, kind of interested on how deadlifts will go tomorrow, uh, but squats, I'm definitely, I'm definitely breaking a lot of capillaries in my face trying to brace tight throughout the whole swatting. So uh, you probably see me not going, not as fast as usual, especially not exploding up because just the re-racking of the weights and also the bouncing on my back, it definitely hurts just to unweight my spine. So uh, definitely controlled reps. So hopefully that actually has some good carryover um, to my squat when I finally get better, right? All right, so let's end the commentary there because it is hot as a mother.
so I just finished week four of the GZCL Rippler program and what I wanted to say before in my last commentary while I was driving because I was trying to concentrate on not getting into an accident is um, basically I think that uh, Cody Lefevre, he really emphasizes the effort in your tier three um, accessories or pretty much your bodybuilding work. So he really wants to pretty much put in uh, M-wraps for every set and that kind of what that does is really makes you concentrate on giving it your all effort and really not looking at, uh, at least for me, not look at the numbers because I try to be a numbers guy because of course, bing, Asian. Um, and yeah, usually um, I just try to get, a, I get caught up in the numbers. So uh, with the tier three, what's good about this is that I just pretty much pick a weight that I can do 10 times and pretty much put full effort into that. And I feel like it's been helping out. I feel like I got an upper chest now. It's uh, having a little bit of that, uh, was that Omar Isaf uh, ass chest or that chest ass, I don't know what, <laughs> I don't know what he calls it, but. Uh, so once you start putting in the effort in tier three, at least for me with the bodybuilding work, I feel like it's kind of evening out my program. And great news is that I have a one out of 10 back pain. So gravity was pretty much my bitch today, except for fatigue made me his bitch because uh, pretty much at the fifth rep I was really tired and even I could feel my lats kind of give out. I don't know if it was the unevenness of the platform but it kind of shot away from me and pretty much didn't have that nice line of pull where I can really pull and get some leg drive into it because I was pulling a lot with my back but um, what I said before my Instagram if you guys follow me on Instagram basically my co-worker that's a physical therapist he says is the juice worth the squeeze? I feel like I should say giggity there, but um, yeah. What he means by that, <laughs> I gotta do this commentary quick because the windows are up and I am dying of heat. I might just have a heat stroke. <laughs> um, but basically, uh, what I, that means is that, you know, you have your worth, your risk versus reward. And with that being said, it's just, when you put in the effort in training, whether you have injuries or not, you just have to look at it as, you know, is the reward worth, worth, ah, I can't talk, it's so, uh, I'm so tired, all the blood is somewhere else, <laughs> giggity. So you have to assess things, if you're training while you're injured, is it worth it? And funny thing is, I was watching um, some super training footage where, uh, you know, a little Smokey tears his bicep while deadlifting. Not a good idea right before deadlifts, because I'm just like freaking out and I'm like, oh no, my biceps, but luckily I pull a hook. Yeah, you don't really see too many bicep tears with hook grip. I think it's because, you know, you don't see hook grip too much. By the way, hashtag team hook grip master race. Um, so next week is week five, where you pretty much do AMRAPs on the last set of your tier one. So looking forward to kicking my own ass. Train hard, train smart. Kick your own ass as long as the juice is worth the squeeze.